Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 12th, right? But we all know that the timing is fluid, right? The timing is fluid on these readings, and not every reading is for you. All right, so um, what do we have for a message today? I feel like there's going to be some movement, there could be some travel, there, there could be an arrival of some sort. Um, I just had the chariot on the bottom of the deck that didn't pick up when I picked up the cards and I looked at it. Um, so I picked it up and put it back. But anyhow, so the chariot is uh, moving very quickly, moving fast, um, dealing with opposition, replacing fear with faith, um, taking control going someplace there could like there could be some sort of uh, well there's travel involved so driving maybe um, strength reversed king of wands reversed seven of pentacles Nine of Pentacles. So, King of Wands in reversed is fearful, lack of confidence. Um, we may have somebody here that is shallow, egotistical. You know, there's ego here. This is ego. This is pride. You got somebody that's in their pride, or they are uh, in. I don't know when you get this when you get the king of wands and I don't know if we're dealing with a Leo we could be dealing with a Leo but we don't have to be Aries Leo Sagittarius could be anybody taking on these energies this is something uh, lack of confidence lack of self-esteem or overly confident this could be arrogance we may have somebody here that is very very arrogant it could also be fear This is not taking action. It could be because of fear. It could also be because of self-esteem. You know, lack of self-esteem. Now, the strength card reversed could be vulnerable. You know, we may have somebody here that doesn't want to let go of their... You know, they don't want to make themselves vulnerable. They're feeling vulnerable or they feel inadequate. We have somebody here that feels inadequate. The Nine of Pentacles is a self-sufficient, independent person who um, is enjoying their life independently or um, is very stable. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is grateful, uh, stable, solid, secure, abundant. So, and this is, is it worth it? We have somebody here that is thinking whether they should relocate or they should invest in something. Now, this could be a single person or it could be, we could have somebody here that is thinking as to whether they want to become single. This is somebody that is very capable of taking care of themselves, whether they are single yet or not. This is somebody that is capable, you know, very capable of, you know, doing it on their own. Very self-sufficient, hardworking, and abundant. Um, this is a card of investment. This is not not putting in much effort to do something. You may have somebody here that that uh, I don't know if there's some lack of ambition, lack of drive. Could even be depression. There's controlling energy with both of these cards as well. So we, we may have somebody here that is very, very controlling. They don't want to give up their control. Maybe they don't want to give up their independence. If you're independent, you may, you may be thinking about what you want to invest in. Hmm. There's very doubtful energy here. We have somebody here that is doubting, you know, uh, growth. You know, they're doubting that, that they're, they're going to receive anything. So they may not be putting in much effort. There is somebody in this reading, though, that is very stable, solid, secure, and hardworking. 
I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is an abundant individual who has worked hard to achieve success. This person has built up their own success with a lot of hard work. This is hard work as well. So we have, a, we definitely have hard work here. We have a hard worker here that, it, and this is thinking: Should I keep doing this or not? Or what should I do now? Should I plant my seeds? What should I do? So this is a, this is definitely a what should I do? Should I should I do this or not? There's some fear here as well. So there is, these are both cards of fear. Ooh, Ace of Cups reversed. Magician reversed. Three of Swords. Just, not justice. I don't know why I said that. I knew it was the high priestess the minute I saw it. But I wanted to say justice, which is interesting. Um, high priestess, that's going within to reflect. Somebody is going to be reflecting. They're going to, and we, we definitely have a self-sufficient individual here who is very, very intuitive that maybe may have been, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is afraid to open their heart. They're afraid to open their heart. It's, maybe it's better to be alone. Um, the High Priestess is uh, intuitive, spiritual, empath. Has some sort of uh, psychic ability. May sense that, you know, this, that something isn't love. That they're dealing with a conceited, unreasonable individual. The King of Wands in reverse is typically somebody that is controlling, unreasonable, conceited, uh, selfish. I mean, in reverse, in reverse. We all have positive and negative traits, okay? So we have somebody here that um, may not be uh, reciprocating. And we have this High Priestess who is very intuitive that may be drowning in their emotions because that, that, that ace of cups is drowning in emotions. It also is a lack of uh, emotional fulfillment, the ace of cups. It's like in reverse. So we have somebody here that is maybe thinking about being alone. I'm better off alone. I'm better off alone. That's really what I want to say. Than being controlled because there's control issues here. And when I say the King of Wands, the King of Wands can be a male or a female. Okay? This is somebody, this is controlling energy. We have somebody here that lacks respect for others. And they may be in a loveless situation or a situation where there's no growth, you know, and there's a lack of success. But, and there's a lot of pain, obviously, with the Three of Swords because that's a painful, that's painful, grieving, hurt, heartache. Somebody is grieving. They're they're hurting over. Um, I feel there could be some some sort of abuse with the magician reverse, an abuse of power. We I feel like we have a very power hungry individual here that is very controlling. That may, maybe making somebody cry. There could be some tears. You know because they're so mean. This is somebody that is mean and controlling. I'm sorry, but that is what I see. And I think we have a very uh, empathic individual here that is feeling pain because of how they're being treated by another person. They're not being, and maybe that's why I saw justice. Because justice is about being treated fairly. Somebody's not being treated fairly. They're not. They're not being treated fairly by an individual that is, it's like they're making, this person is making another person cry, you know. And, and, it's, and it hurts. It hurts. And, and maybe we have somebody here that's better off alone. It's better off to, you know, plant your seed someplace else and invest in something uh, that is going to make you happy rather than to cry, you know, or to be in a situation that is lacking emotional fulfillment. I mean, the Ace of Cups reverses sadness. It's tears. It's shutting down. It's an emotional blockage of some sort. 
somebody is dealing with an individual that is very self-centered and controlling and abuses their power. This person abuses their power and probably says really mean things that hurt. And I feel like now it's like, is it worth it? Do that seven of pentacles, is it worth it? Is it worth investing in this? So I think we have a very capable, strong, independent person who has the skills to be independent, but they're going to have to face their fears. They're going to have to take action and they haven't taken action because the magician reversed is feeling powerless. It's like giving their power away to another person. And this person has taken the power and whoever has given the power away, they gave it. They gave the power away. You can take your power back at any time. You can. Okay, I feel like, uh, you know, um, we, have, we definitely have an arrogant, boastful individual here who is quite, quite cunning and clever. This person... Um, is very skilled at manipulation and they use and they do use emotional blackmail to hurt another person so somebody is using is is being it's almost like being guilt tripped you know and that is emotional blackmail we have emotional blackmail here and sometimes male or female will cry They'll cry, and I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't cry, but so, that's, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. When you cry all the time, or you, that's a, that is, can be a form, this is emotional blackmail, okay? Can, you know, and, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't cry, okay? Um, you know, but somebody may use that, they may say, oh, stop your crying, you know what I mean? And maybe that's the form of emotional blackmail. They, somebody, you know, they don't, they don't care if you cry. You know, somebody that doesn't care if you cry. Put it that way. Um, anyhow, um, we definitely have a controlling individual here that is emotionally. Uh, I feel like they're going overboard. It's emotional abuse. Okay, this is emotional abuse in some way. It is. And it hurts. It's painful. It is definitely painful. So I, I think whoever it is that is being abused is thinking about, you know, going their own way. Because that is, and that nines are about closure. Thinking about moving on. When you see 999, nine, nine, it's time to move on from a painful situation where there's been an abuse of power. Somebody has abused their power. They're very extremely controlling. This is somebody that... Uh, is self-centered okay um and all they think about is themselves and i feel like i feel like uh whoever it is that they are hurting is really reflecting on everything that they are seeing and feeling they're reflecting they're really in their feelings about you know whoever it is that is controlling them and they're thinking about relocating they're thinking about packing up and leaving and that's the chariot that's why I saw the chariot. That's packing up and leaving, going someplace, going someplace else. So I do believe that that is a big thought here. Maybe thinking about moving. You know, maybe they want emotional fulfillment. Somebody may be in a loveless situation. Could be even with a father or a mother. Okay, they're living with somebody that is abusive, and they have somebody that is very empathic. You know, that is single, that is abundant, and maybe they're thinking about moving towards that person. Um, there's definitely uh, an opportunity here for uh, abundance with that Nine of Pentacles, but it will be hard work and it will require going someplace else. Because with the Seven of Pentacles, that is short-lived success. This season is over. This time is up. It's time to go someplace else. But it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to start over. Okay, I also feel like something that started some time ago is coming to fruition right now, but it will again, it's going to require somebody to take action and uh, stop investing in a, in a situation where there's no love. Um, they're going to have to surrender, you know, and let go of the fear. There could be fear of getting somebody may be fearful of investing in a partnership because they were controlled in the past 
You know, this could go so many ways. There's definitely some heartache here, and there's a lot of heartache here. There's a lot of pain, heart pain, okay? That somebody has been in a, or they're in a very hurtful situation, and uh, they have an opportunity for abundance because the Nine of Pentacles is abundance. To to receive something, you know, and you got to think about to receive something um, of value. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody that knows their value, that knows their worth. And if you see the, the berries are ripe, it means the time is ripe. The time is now. The time is now to take action, to take your power back from an individual that you know, has had some sort of control over you. You're going to, and you may have to master your emotions. It may be hard to master emotions, you know, during this time because it's not easy to, it's not an easy decision. Okay. It's not an easy decision. Um, now we got the judgment in reverse on the bottom. I just looked down. This is doubt again. It is guilt. Somebody's been making another person feel guilty, feel guilty for leaving, or feel feel doubtful about who they are. Somebody hasn't been listening. They haven't been answering the higher call, okay? And it's time to move on from a bad choice. Somebody's made a bad choice. They have. And their gut, their intuition has been telling them, but they haven't been listening because this is a card of intuition. And this is the gateway to intuition, but it's be reversed. So somebody's gut has been telling them that it's time to go someplace else, that this is a dead end, that they don't, that they shouldn't be controlled by this situation. It's almost like it's a narcissist, right? They should, they should. They, it's like they've been told by their gut and their intuition to, you know, stop investing and, you know, maybe you're better off alone or, or you're, you know, they've been told to go because the, the chariot is about go. To get in the driver's seat and go. They've been told to go, but not listening. And maybe it's because of guilt, you know, or being ashamed or embarrassed even. Somebody has not been listening. They have not been listening. They've been refusing to accept the truth because this is a card of truth. So, you know, but anyway, I feel like on this day, it's going to be, a, I think it's going to be an emotional day. Okay, with that Ace of Cups reverse, that's sadness, that's tears, that's emotional, that's drowning in emotions. Okay, it is. And, and I feel like somebody is drowning in their, in their emotions because they know in their gut. They know in their gut that this is over. The time is up. This season is over. And they know it. They know it. I still got one set of windows needs to be filled. I had to make sure I had the right ones, okay, before I went and spent a shitload of money. Anyhow, anyhow, Ace of, uh, not Ace, uh, Magician Reversed. Um, that's unbalanced, you know. Um, we have somebody here that is just unwilling to follow their heart, unwilling to listen to their, to their God. Um... But they're thinking. They are really, really, really thinking. Somebody may be thinking about somebody that they hurt as well. They could be feeling ashamed. They could be feeling guilty. They could be feeling sad. You know, they were arrogant. They were controlling. They were manipulative. That could be the case as well. We do have somebody here that has made a poor choice. And they, 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 they could be fearing rejection or, or, you know, not being forgiven. You know, this is, I won't be forgiven. I'll be rejected. They, somebody may be feeling like they'll be rejected. There's low self-esteem here. There is low self-esteem here. We have somebody here that probably wants to go. You know, they want to invest, but they're too scared. Maybe they're scared they're, you know, that they won't be forgiven or they won't, you know, they won't be accepted because this is the, uh, Judgment upright is acceptance. What's 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 the, what's the opposite in reverse? That's lack of acceptance. But that but 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 we have fear here. So I think we have somebody that is fearful of being accepted. So um, we definitely have a very self-sufficient, abundant individual here who has been hurt very very badly. Um, we may have an individual as well. And I'm changing the story a little bit that is thinking about. 
um, communicating with this person or thinking about this person in general, they may be fearful of rejection from this person because this person just chooses to be alone. This chooses to be alone and this chooses to be alone. So we may have somebody here that chooses to be alone because of previous heartbreak. We have heartbreak here and we have heartbreak here. Um, and maybe, maybe uh, that's the case for some of you. Anyhow, I feel like on this day, we have somebody here that is um, really in their feelings. And they're thinking. They're thinking a lot about whether they should invest, whether they should go, whether they should put in the effort to... Uh, go down that path. I'm thinking about the chariot now to take charge. For some of this has to do with travel, getting in the car, packing up and going because that's what the chariot is. And this is relocating. Somebody is definitely thinking about it, but they aren't taking any action right now. We may have some heart problems here as well. This is heart problems, this is heart problems. We could have somebody here that is growing weaker. And I hate to say that because this is like, this, and, and the judgment reverse could be illness as well. So I, I'm not sure if we have somebody that is, uh, you know, may have some heart problems. Or they just, I don't know, don't follow their heart. Anyway, just shuffled and I got the empress on the bottom. So this is the birth of a new life. This is, this is a creator. This is somebody who creates a new life. This is somebody who loves unconditionally. Um, does everything with love. This is a hostess that has plenty. That knows their value. That is about to receive a blessing of some sort. After a painful experience. So we may have somebody here that is worried. Because there's fear. They're worried about somebody that they hurt receiving something you know beautiful i mean this is a blessing so the, the empress gives birth to a blessing she receives a blessing and we have somebody here that has been very arrogant and in their ego in their pride that may have shut their feelings down or shut their heart down for an individual all the while their gut was telling them to go you know, and they very arrogant. We definitely have a very arrogant individual here that I don't, I feel like this arrogant individual isn't happy. They're not happy with the fact that whoever it is that they had control over, they may be losing control over this person. Because this person appears to be enjoying life. They are enjoying life. Very abundant. I mean, the Empress, we talked about the Empress yesterday. The Empress is very motherly, very domestic, has plenty, is a hostess, very caring, very sensual, very sexual, very beautiful. This person demonstrates love. Everybody wants the Empress. She doesn't involve herself in third-party situations. She doesn't cheat. She doesn't chase. She sits back and she waits for the one that sees her value. This is a beautiful individual that is about to receive a blessing, blessing after she has experienced some serious pain. There's going to be an arrival for this empress. And whoever it is that hurt her knows it. Good luck.